Hello, I'm Andy, and I'm going to read to you a program which I call Tarot, using my Kabbalistic tarot cards. And the program is called Your Love Story. And this is for you coming, and this is for the month of June 2018, and you, for you coming from Sagittarius. The first card that I pull will be to do with your first 15 days of June. And your first 15 days of June in the area of romance are not good at all. They are in fact terrible. And if you do find a romance in the first 15 days, tell yourself it's coming loaded with complications and trouble of every kind. So don't give your heart away too quickly. Study this person slowly. I'm not saying cancel out the romance. I'm just saying understand the circumstances in which you found this new romance. And if you have an ongoing romance in the first 15 days, plenty can go wrong. Don't argue, stay away from it. And if it's your romance partner or your new romance partner arguing, then stay away from the argument. It's you who is listening to me. Be understanding, be supportive if you want to save your romance areas in the first 15 days. And if you happen to be married, tell yourself that difficulties can be very, very strong. Past issues, new issues, something to do about money. Kabbalistic cards show planetary signs and zodiac signs, that's why I use them. And all these planets here shown, the worst one is financial issues, bringing so much unhappiness, whether it's to your romance area or marriage area. And your marriage area can be stretched to breaking point, it says. And so if you value it, step back and don't retaliate. It's only 15 days. And that, that way your romance or your marriage, pre, your marriage situation may stabilize later on in the last 15 days. We'll find out in a minute. So it's a really difficult card for you in your love story in the first 15 days. It's you, all up to you to keep it intact. Now, this is the card for the last 15 days and you're very lucky. All the solutions can be found. Let's talk of the new romance that you found in the first 15 days. Now that can blossom and be more understanding to you and vice versa. And if you do find a new romance in the last 15 days, it'll be a very good blessed one. A one that's going to be born with you and be supportive of you. That's if you find a new one in the last 15 days. Your ongoing romance will find many solutions to put it back on an even, stable, even stable position. And you will be very happy talking of bonding and talking of your future together. So you see how 15 days can change. So don't give up on the first 15 days. Tell yourself, work it out slowly so that the last 15 days can give you all that happiness that you deserve and that your romance partner deserves. And if you happen to be married, there's an extreme amount of support coming, not only from you, but from your marriage partner as well. So, so many solutions are found in the last 15 days. Everything comes under your control. And you'll have to be the, you are the one listening to me. So you have to be the one who can save this marriage or romance from just crumbling. And do it in the last 15 days because you'll have all the support from this card. Now, you coming from Sagittarius, I'm using this card to tell you your lucky dates, D-A-T-E-S, your lucky dates in the month of June. And your lucky dates are going to be the 9th, the 18th and the 27th. These are going to be extremely powered dates. And uh, the signs on this card show that you will have all the good energy, finding a new romance, enabling the success for your existing romance to be happy and definitely making your marriage and family areas to be extremely happy. So go out on the 9th, 18th, 27th together as much as possible and uh, chasing for the romance as well on the 9th, 18th, 27th. Marvelous, very powerful dates for you in the month of June. The next one is about your lucky ages. And looking at this card, the ages I like would be, if you happen to be the ages of 16 or 25 or 34 or 43 or 52 or 61 or 70 or even 79, you are going to be one very lucky person in the area of love, finding a new romance, increasing the bonding in your romance and existing romance and marriage areas, 
so much happiness for you if you're of these ages. If you're not of these ages, you'll need to have this 90-minute Skype session with me where I'll use your date of birth and time of birth and look at your palms and help you for your next seven or eight years. I'll talk a bit more about that a bit later. Now I'm going to talk to you about your lucky colour for you coming from Sagittarius and the lucky colour I'm choosing from this card is the colour red. So wear plenty of red to attract attention of romance, to attract energy for your existing romance and marriage area to become lucky. And when you wear red, you'll have this magnetism of these planets shown on this card. That's why I use Kabbalistic tarot cards. They have signs of planets and signs of zodiac signs. So use red to get the full benefit for yourself as much as possible. Now this is the card to find out who might give you trouble in the area of romance or marriage and it's somebody from Taurus. So somebody from Taurus, if this person happens to be your marriage partner or your ongoing romance partner or the new romance you find somebody from Taurus, tell yourself it's going to be a handful of problems in the month of June. So be prepared to tackle this person as carefully as you can and don't be impatient, don't be hasty, don't be forceful for, to be sure and don't show your temper. The next card that I'm going to pull will be to see who you can get a great attachment to you coming from Sagittarius. Now if you happen to be interested in somebody and find out that this somebody is from Leo, well go for it. Because this card says that somebody from Leo will form a very good partnership in romance for you. And if your ongoing romance partner or your marriage partner happens to be from Leo, then you're going to find a lot of understanding, a lot of togetherness as well and make the effort to make things even better. So somebody from Leo will help you a lot in the month of June. Well, I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 550 for a 90 minute Skype session. And during these 90 minutes, I'll have your date of birth and your time of birth and I'll look at your palms and I'll face read you while I Skype with you as well. And I'll tackle your next seven or eight years in all areas of your life, your areas of job, of business, of finances, of health and your love story areas as well. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, leave me a message or send me an email and let's make the contact. And it's just USD 550 for a 90 minute reading for your next seven or eight years. Until then, thank you, good luck.